Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just another quick video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Chrome Remote Desktop. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is download the Google Chrome browser. So we are going to search Chrome browser and we are going to click on the first one here that says Google Chrome, download Chrome today. And all you wanna do is hit download Chrome. Once you have opened up the Chrome browser, you are going to search for Chrome Remote Desktop. We are going to click on the first one. So this is the page that we want to be on. Here on top, you'll see Google Chrome Remote Desktop. Top right, you'll see Access My Computer and Share My Screen. So Chrome Remote Desktop allows you to remotely connect with your home or work computer, or you can share your screen with others. So the two main features, you can securely access your computer whenever you're away using your phone, tablet, or another computer. You can also share your screen to collaborate in real time or connect with another computer to give or receive remote support. The best part is that it's free. It's fast, simple, and free. And if we scroll down and say it's convenient and secure, you can connect using your computer, Android, or iOS device. All right, so now that we know a little bit about Chrome Remote Desktop, we are going to click on Access My Computer. We are going to sign in using our Google account. Once you have signed in, this pop-up should come up here on the bottom right. It says, would you like to install Chrome Remote Desktop to this device? With an installed app, you'll be able to use more keyboard shortcuts and the browser toolbar will take up less space. I recommend you to install. So all we're gonna do is click Install and then click Install here and you'll see the app come up. And this is what the app is going to look like here in the bottom left corner. It just says Chrome Remote Desktop. So we double click that, you should see the Chrome Remote Desktop app come up. All right guys, so this step is very, very important. We are going to scroll down where it says this device. This last box here is going to say, set up this computer to be remotely accessed from another device. To get started, click the download button. This part, needs to be set up on any new computer that you want to have access to. If you do not enable this, you will not see it up here and be able to connect to it. So again, any computer that you want to have access to, you need to enable this part here at the bottom. So we are going to click the little blue download icon. This should come up here and then we are going to hit add to Chrome. Then we are going to add extension. Once the extension has been added, you'll see that it says Chrome Remote Desktop has been added to Chrome. Then if we click on the little puzzle piece here on your Chrome browser, you'll see that Chrome Remote Desktop is added. Once you have downloaded the extension, you have to come back to the Chrome Remote Desktop, go all the way to the bottom again, and then click Accept and Install. We're going to hit yes. We are going to give it permissions. For now, we are going to leave the name that it gives us. Next is going to ask you to choose a six digit pin. This six digit pin you are going to use to connect remotely. Once you have input your pin, we are going to click start. This is a Windows 11 computer, so it's asking us for permission. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? We're going to click yes. So now this device is online. All right, quick recap. You need to log in to every computer that you want to have access to with the same Gmail account. You cannot have two different Gmails because it's not going to work. Same Gmail account for every computer that you want to have access to. All right, second thing, if we scroll down under this device on every computer, it needs to say online. If it does not say that, it's not going to work. All right, so I just turned on the Surface Go, so we are going to remote into that. Let's click on Surface Go. It's going to ask us for the pin. We're going to hit close on this Microsoft OneDrive. 
So here on the right, you'll see a little arrow. We're going to click on that. Here it gives us some options, some full screen, scale to fit, resize to fit, smooth scaling, some input controls, displays, Pretty cool features that you can file transfer. So you can upload a file or download a file. We are going to try that here in a second. So the next thing we're going to do is try to do a file transfer. We are going to transfer a file from the computer we remoted into to the computer that we're actually on right now. So let's click download file. We're gonna click on desktop here. And we're going to use this old thumbnail from a long time ago. Click open. And you'll see here that it's downloading here on the bottom, bottom left. Looks like it's done. Let's see. It's open when done. And there's the thumbnail. So we are going to minimize the Chrome remote desktop and we are going to go into the computer that we're currently on. So we're going to click on file explorer. We're going to go into downloads under today. And you are going to see the same thumbnail from the other computer. Now it's on the computer we're on. All right, so let's move on. The next cool feature this has is that you can do remote support. This first box here says, share this screen. To let someone else access this computer, click below to generate a one-time access code. Then share the code with the person that you want to allow access. They will be able to see your screen and control your keyboard and mouse. If you are on the other side of that, you will use the connect to another computer. To remotely access another computer, enter the one-time access code you were given. So this is a very cool feature if one of your friends needs help, a family member, you just generate the one-time code and you can have access to their computer. This next option is set up another computer. If you are given remote access to a computer, for example, via Secure Shell, you can use this page to set it up for a graphical remote access using Chrome Remote Desktop. And for whatever reason, if you want to edit some of these computers here, you can edit the host name by clicking the little pencil or you can disable remote connections. We're just gonna click that Disable remote connections, click OK, and that computer is no longer on the screen. Now I'm going to show you how it looks like on the cell phone. You can download Chrome Remote Desktop on the Play Store. So we are going to go on the Play Store. All you have to do is type Remote Desktop, and it should be the third one down. Once installed, you will hit Open. Here you will see your computers. We are going to connect to the first one. It's going to ask us for the pin. Once you have input the pin, you will hit connect. And as you can see, we have successfully remote into our computer using our cell phone. So it works in landscape mode also. Top right, you see we have an option for a keyboard and the little three dots. You can resize desktop to fit and disconnect. If this video has been helpful, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing and liking the video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.